Hello YouTube, welcome back for another video. It's the life of low. Today we're gonna test out the new multiple listings from photos tool, strictly for sports trading cards. So I have these 23 baseball cards. I'm gonna test the tool out, see how quick, smooth, and accurate it actually is. First time doing it, so we're gonna find out together how good it works. So let's go to a screenshot and I'll show you what the new tool is all about. All right, so here we are with our screen share. I am on the iPhone. Now, very important, I am on eBay.com inside the browser on the phone. This is not the eBay app, and as far as I am aware, this tool is not yet available on the eBay app itself. So if you're gonna use your phone like I am today, you wanna make sure you're in your browser and on the actual website, eBay.com. So let's get going. Low, low deals, this is my store page. So let's click on the sell screen. Once you're on the sell screen, you're gonna go ahead and click create listing. And there it is at the very bottom. Multiple listings from photos, new. For sports trading cards only. So we're gonna click that there. Multiple listings from photos page. Convert photos to drafts. Skip the hassle of creating listings from scratch. Upload your photos and we'll handle the rest by using your photos to prepare drafts for you to review. Organization pays off. When uploading, select your images in the order you want them to show up in each of your listings. Tip. Minimum size for photos, 500 by 500 pixels. And then the last column on the right, select photo count. Begin by choosing the number of photos per listing. There's a drop down menu, so click that. It gives you two options. One, front, that's just the front of the card. Or you can pick two, front and back. Now they'll give you two photos of the front and back of the card. And I'm gonna go with the second option today, front and back. So let's click that there. Then you're gonna scroll down. You see continue there. We're gonna click continue takes you to the upload photos page now select the images to upload once uploaded we'll generate draft listings based on the information of the images so upload from computers where you want to click because i already did the photos in advance of this video i'm going to select photo library because that's where my photos are at but you could just take them fresh on the spot right here so let's go photo library i'm going to scroll down to the start like I said, I had 23 cards. And there it is, the Kyle Lewis. So you wanna make sure you're selecting them in order. So I'm just gonna go one by one, being careful that I don't miss anything. So the last thing I want is for the photos to end up on the wrong drafts. I'm getting all kinds of notifications. Next time I'm gonna have to put this in do not disturb mode, so those do not get in the way of our video here, but it's okay. We'll just swipe them out of the way manually. So I should have 46 total photos because 23 cards times two photos per card, 46. We're gonna click add at the top right of the screen. Wait for that to take us to the next spot. little bit on the slower side but it is a new tool and there we go review photos so drafts 23 so it created 23 drafts that's exactly what we wanted front and back of the card so we got two photos per draft i'm gonna scroll all the way down you can see the add on the left there so you could add additional photos two of 12 so you can add up to 12 photos so say you wanted to do the corners or zoom in on the surface whatever you needed to do you could add that there so we're gonna scroll all the way down i don't know if you can see that there but it says generate drafts so let's click generate drafts all right create multiple listings zero of 23 selected so it, it created the 23 as you can see there they all are it's kind of hard to tell I'm sure on the desktop this is a lot more cleaner um, honestly now that this tool is available i've been waiting for it for a while they've had something similar but it was just for trading card games like pokemon magic the gathering and so on so now it looks like the sports trading cards are finally getting their time so maybe it's time for me to invest in a scanner but uh 
here you have all kinds of options you have your photo there that was generated it generates the title for you scroll to the right um, item category and then your item specifics sport the player the season the manufacturer if it's a parallel of any sort you can click the drop down menu there features the set name the team name the league these are all major league baseball cards autographs you can select yes or no if they're autograph card the card name let's say it's an insert and you want to put the insert name or you just want to put kyle lewis rookie card you could do that card number is generated there automatically type additional item specifics condition um, i'm assuming that's going to be graded or ungraded edit description let's see what kind of description it created for us so it looks like it just took the title it created 2020 panini prism dash number 94 kyle lewis rc which stands for rookie card and it just copied that into the description box but let's say you wanted to add something extra you could so let's just say uh i don't know you want to say it's a seattle card you could do that but i'm just going to leave it as is for now uh, done with that i'm just going to x out of this because i'm not keeping no changes so that's the description custom label so that'd be like your SKU number um lolo deals has over 700 active items for sale so i do use a SKU system uh, it allows me to find the cards in my inventory very quickly to get that shipped out if you'd like to know more about SKU systems or see what i do uh, maybe i'll make another video for that so if you'd like to see something like that let me know in the comments if you're interested in the SKU system or just comment on how you're liking this video so far if you're still watching why don't you give me that like if, especially if it's been an informative video for you so far so let's continue buy it now format or you can do an auction you can select that there the duration the quantity you're gonna have to set your pricing so there's the buy it now price if you did an auction i'm sure there'd be the starting bid there uh, or it'd be that next category see so starting price um, allow offers you could choose that there your handling time um i like one business day because it keeps me available for my top rated seller so um let's try the bulk edit so we're going to click the top box there so 23 or 23 items selected let's go to bulk edit i'm going to go to handling time 23 eligible listings so all the cards are selected here and i'm gonna change it to one business day because i do one day shipping on all my items good to know low low deals one day shipping so we're going to apply that there so it should change everything to one day handling time uploaded in 23 listings sweet uh, once that clears you can see one business day all the way down great so let's go back to the top there start time immediate shipping details free for buyer i do charge for shipping so that is something i'm gonna have to go in and manually do i guess i'll just do that when i do my SKU numbers and then it has like the last modified date sorry about that yeah i'm definitely gonna want to do desktop on this definitely time to invest in a scanner this is just a little too difficult um, and then at the far right last column it says fees so any associated fees are going to show up there so now that we got that all done let's scroll all the way to the bottom hard to see so you can submit all i really don't want them to go live yet so i'm going to hit save for later because i do use a draft bank and I'm assuming this is going to send everything to my draft bank. Saved as drafts. 23 listings are saved as drafts. Great. So let's hit done. Um, I'm at my manage active listings. So let's click on listings and go to my drafts. And there they are. Everything was added into my draft bank. So now, individually, I will go through. I will have to set the price. I want to change. I got to add the SKU number. And I also want to set a shipping price. But everything is in your draft bank there. Um, 
it looks like it was pretty uh pretty effective i know the mobile phone made it a little odd it was hard to see some of the stuff uh maybe i'll do another video once i get some time to play with it more on the desktop so you can see it a little bit more clearly but uh yeah i kind of kind of like this so basically now we can open this up resume draft and i can individually go in here and touch up whatever i like add more photos i could even change the title one thing i do recommend on that screen that we were at where it generated everything i would double check all the info and make sure it's the proper player make sure it's the correct set of cards make sure the card number is correct whenever you're using auto automated stuff like this the ai systems you always want to double check the last thing you want to do is provide misinformation or the wrong information and you know, we're still responsible for customer service so you want to make sure everything's proper so this is the Glaber Torres 2018 update series tops. Uh, so it looks like it matched. Uh, I'm sure there's different variations. He's batting with the pinstripe jersey. So it even says batting pinstripe jersey. Um, I'm assuming there's other variations of this card. So that's pretty neat that the system identified that. That's pretty awesome actually. Um, yeah, but look you can go this is where you would add your SKU number. I don't have that created yet So I'm not gonna do nothing there. Okay here. Look at this. This is a great example store category football cards Glaber Torres plays for the Yankees the New York Yankees is definitely not a football team So we're gonna want to edit that there store category click that we're going to go to baseball cards. These are all my store categories I have. Now, it had the proper category for eBay, so maybe the store categories just don't get picked up. So that's something you're going to have to look out for. So let's just go uh, baseball cards. We'll just go base. And then we will save this. Done. And now the store category has changed for baseball cards. So I'm glad that happened. Like I said, you always want to double check everything because you don't know what could possibly be, possibly be wrong. So more item specifics there. Variation. That's variation listings. That's a whole other subject. Condition. So I can select condition here. Ungraded. Card condition. Um, it's excellent. I take care of my stuff. I've had that since 2018 i opened a box of 2018 update series way back then and wish i would have had that sealed still those boxes go for a whole lot all right so the description once again you can add more pricing so uh i don't know let's price glaber let's go a dollar fifty it's a fairly cheap card all the cards in this example are fairly low end so we'll do a buy it now starting at 150 Require immediate payment. Uh, I have one quantity. Allow offers. I like to allow offers, so a uh, minimum offer. Uh, I'll take dollar twenty-five. I guess it's not a big window range, but hey, got to get paid, right? Cost of everything's going up. Um, supplies, everything like that. So my shipping method. Uh, we're going to change this to one ounce and go 10 by five by one done. It's going to be standard shipping flat rate to everyone. My preferences. So yeah, we're going to save this again for later, and we're back to our draft page. So now you can see there, I'm going to zoom in on the Glaber, I scroll over, $1.50 was my buy it now price, so that changed. And let's just say, for example, I was doing this fresh, I didn't have stuff in my draft bank, which I'll probably start fresh and then do, let's say I'm going to do... Uh, 
Now let's just use the example of 23 cards since that's what we're doing. Let's say my bank was empty and it's showing 23 here. And let's say going into it, I knew I wanted to start like a 99 cent auction on all cards. Then I could just do that in bulk. But because I'm doing buy it now, I'm going to go individually and check it out. But uh, to each his own. But yeah, I just wanted to show you how the tool works and I'm kind of satisfied with it. Obviously, I'm going to learn more as I go. Um, once again, I think the phone is a little bit more difficult to deal with. So I might start doing more stuff on my desktop. Especially when I purchase a scanner. And uh, yeah, so once again, if you made it this far, give me a like. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff on sports cards, reselling in general, low, low deals on eBay. I have the link in the description below. You can check out my store. Uh, it's, like I said, I have uh, over 700 active items. And with this new tool, I think that number is going to skyrocket. So now I can do a lot more work and way less time. Well, uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.